we go. All right. This is pretty exciting, huh? Is this fun? Yes. Nothing has happened. Nothing has happened. Nothing has happened yet. No, nothing has happened yet. Have you guys uh, been learning about God in, no. uh, yes. in children's church? What do you guys normally talk about in children's church? No. States and countries and how to help Sometimes, them. Sometimes, but you normally talk some about God, right? Somebody raise your hand and tell me something you've learned about God in children's church. Addie was first. Go ahead. That we should pray to him. April. He's the only father of us. We talked about that this morning in Sunday school. Miss Stevie. We should respect him. We should respect him. Anybody else? Anybody else know anything about God? I got a question for you. I got a question for you. I want to say it. Uh-oh. We got to figure out how to make this slide for just There we go. Whoops. How many gods are there? <gasps> you want. How many gods are there? One. There's one God. That's right, just one. See, look, just one. There's only one God. We're having trouble with our slide projection. <laughs> Isaiah 45, 5 and 6 tells us that. It says, I am the Lord, and there is no other. What's it say? What's this one say? Everybody read this out loud with me. Uh, Apart from, from me, me, there is no God. God is the Lord. There's only one, and apart from him, there's no other God, right? Isn't that cool? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Just a couple minutes ago, we were talking about Saudi Arabia. And you guys were talking about a whole other religion over there. And they have a whole other God. Keep going, we're behind, there you go. Oh, hey, I forgot this part. Did you guys know that God has a name? Did you guys know that? Yeah. Somebody raise your hand and tell me what his name is. Brandy. There's lots. There's lots? Yeah, but he has one regular name that he said, everybody knows me by this name. Hayden. Jesus Christ. Nope, that's not it, but you're close. Miss Snowy. Close. Really close. Addie. Nope, that's not it. Brandy, you want to try again? Nope, but you guys are so close. It's kind of like Jehovah, but Jehovah is actually a really bad kind of translation of it. His real name, you ready? This is God's real personal name, is Yahweh. Yeah. It looks like that. Yahweh. Don't laugh at it. That's his Yahweh. name. And it's like if see, God says, Oh, they named her Stevie. <laughs> nope, that's God's real name. And do you know what it means? Do you know what Yahweh means? No idea. Do you want to take a guess? No. Do you want to take a guess, Brandon? Yahweh means holy. Nope, that's not what it means. But that was a really good guess. Yes, Miss April. It's the Holy Spirit. Nope, that's not what it means. What his name means is, I am. That's what his name means. It means I am. Yahweh means I am in Hebrew. That's what it means. It means I am. It means I was there before anybody else. I'm always going to be there. I have all the power. I have all the knowledge. I am. That's what his name means. It means Yahweh. And there's only one. There's only one God, Yahweh. There's only one. He's the only God. Just like he just told us in Isaiah, there aren't any others, but we have a little bit of a problem. The problem is... What about all those other gods people talk about? Yes, Miss Eddie. You think they're fake? Can you think of some names of some other gods people talk about, Brandon? The Golden Calf. The Golden Calf. There you go. April? Um, I put God in, but it's the one that China worships. Yeah, that would be Buddha? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, that yeah. was good when they got that. What about Saudi Arabia? You were just talking about what's the god that they worship there? Blue. You forgot? Do you have another one? It's a Muslim god, but he has a name. Do you remember what it is? Do you remember what it is, Brandon? It's Allah. Can you give me the next slide? There's a few of them up there. Buddha is one that you guys brought up. Oh, yes. Zeus. Allah. Zeus, Zeus, that's right. He's a Greek that's right. He's a Greek yeah. god. There are still people that can That's right. What about those gods? What about them? What do we know about them? They don't actually have They don't. They don't actually even exist. There's only one God and there isn't any other. But, but wait a minute now. There's a lot of people right here in the town where we live who say, hey, you know what, guys? It's okay that you believe in Yahweh God. That's okay. And it's okay that these other people believe in, in Buddha God or Allah God or Zeus God because we can just put all the gods together. We can, have, we can have Allah God and Yahweh God. What do you guys think about that? No. Why not? Because there's only one God. How do we know that? The Bible. Where in the Bible? 
Isaiah 45.5 says there is one God and there isn't any other. It says, I am Yahweh. I am the I am. I'm the only one. And there is no other apart from me. There is no God. There is just one God. Just one. Just one. No Allah, no Zeus, no Buddha. Those aren't other names for the same God. God told us His name. It's Yahweh. That's His only name. It would be like if I called all of you Frank. <laughs> none of you are Frank. You're Hayden, and you're Addie, and you're Stevie, and none of you are Frank. And if I said, well, now your name is Frank. No, it's not. There's only one God. His name is Yahweh. That's it. There's no others. These other ones are just fake. That's right. There's only one God. But I got to thinking about that, and I thought, well, I got a little bit of a problem, because what about Jesus? Hayden said Jesus is one of God's names, right? Well, isn't Jesus God, too? What do you guys think about yeah, that? Yes, God. yes, Brandon, do you think Jesus is God? No, he's just another version. He's just God's son. He's just God's son. Okay, Jesus is God's son. Now, wait a minute, let me think for a second. Um, a few years ago, we had a cat, and the cat had kittens. Now, when the cat had kittens, we call those babies, we call them offspring, okay? Now, if a cat has offspring, what are the offspring? Are they pigs? <laughs> if a cat has kitties, if a cat has babies, it's a cat. Um, when we got our little dog, our dog was a puppy, had a mommy dog and a daddy dog. And when the mommy dog and the daddy dog had babies, what did they have? Puppies. They had other dogs, right? And now, I have four babies in my life. My wife has given me four babies. And you know what each one of them was? A human. A human. A human. So, so I'm, I'm starting to notice a trend. If somebody has an offspring, then that offspring is the same thing as them, right? If humans have a baby, it's a human, right? And if piggies have a baby, it's a piggy, right? So if God has a son, He's God. It's another God. Do you no, think it's, it's another, another God? God? Because it's how many gods are God. there? Well, just one. Just, just one. one. Oh my gosh, this is confusing. Next slide, please. The Bible tells us that Jesus is God, just like Yahweh is God. As a matter of fact, I found this really cool verse in Revelation. Now, see the red letters? You know what red letters mean in the Bible, right? That means Jesus That means that. Jesus is talking. Jesus is saying this. The Bible says, Jesus says, and then he says, I am. Remember what that means? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am the Alpha and the Omega. That means I'm the first and the last. Who was, who is, and who is to come. He says, I've always been, I'm always going to be. Just like what God told us at the very beginning when he told us his name. He told us his name was Yahweh. And he said, I've been around forever. At the end of the Bible, Jesus says the same thing. I am the Alpha and the Omega who was and is and is to come. But here's the really interesting part. The Bible tells us Jesus says, Jesus says, I am the Alpha and the Omega, says Yahweh God. Jesus stands up and everybody can see him. He's got his name tag on, says Jesus. He says, I am the Alpha and the Omega. I am Yahweh God. Whoa! That blows my mind. There's, there's one God, and his name is Yahweh, but he's also Jesus. Oh, man. And you know what I got to think about after that? What about the Holy Spirit? He is God. Is he God too? Yeah. But, but wait a minute, what's the same Isaiah? There's only one God. Yeah. And his name is Yahweh. Is oh, but wait now, Jesus is God. And now the Holy Spirit is God too. Flip the next slide for me. Look what I, I looked in the Bible and look what I found. All of these places, plus a whole bunch more. Where it says that the Holy Spirit is God. I'm confused. Oh my goodness, no I'm kidding. So confused. Confused. Some of these are really cool. I mean, Joel 2.28. God says, I'm going to pour out my spirit, my Yahweh spirit, on all of the people. In Acts, oh my goodness, some people came and they lied to God. They did. And God stood up as the Holy Spirit and went, pow, and he zapped them both. And everybody knew it was God who did it. Oh my goodness, it's confusing, isn't it? Yeah, it's really confusing. But what we know is the Holy Spirit is God. So now, wait a minute, we've got, we've got Yahweh God, that's his name. And then we've got, we've got Jesus, and that's his name. And we've got the Holy Spirit, and that's his name. So are there three gods? No. There's not? There's just one. Maybe. There's just one. That's right. There's just one God. How is that all going to work? I don't know. I oh, so my gosh. What in the world could possibly be going on here? Well, i got to tell you, it's something that we call the Trinity. 
See the word, the Trinity? Here's what it means. Tri. Have you seen this word before? Tri. G-R-I. Tri. Like a triangle. There's one triangle with three sides. What about a tricycle? It's one bike with three wheels. Tri means three. What does, well, this is kind of hard to tell because you have to put a U in front of it, but it means unity. What's unity mean? A group. Unity? No, what's unity? Anybody know what unity is? No? Anybody ever heard of a unicycle? Yeah. How, how many wheels is a unicycle? It's just one. Tricycle has three wheels. Unicycle has one wheel. Unity means one. Usually what unity means is taking a whole bunch of things and making one thing out of them. Unity. Try unity. Three in one. The Trinity, that's God. So we got one God, Yahweh God. But we know in three different ways. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, right? Does it make perfect sense? Everybody satisfied? Makes perfect sense, right? Yeah, it's really hard to understand. So, as I was thinking about it, trying to figure out how God worked, I thought about this big piece of clay right here. See this big piece of clay? It's clay. You want to touch it? You can touch it. Just be careful because it's heavy and it'll fall apart. Yeah, you can touch it. Oh, yeah. You can touch it. It's just, it's just a piece of clay. It's just a piece of clay. Okay, now here's what you need to know about this piece of clay. This is absolutely pure. There is nothing but clay here. It's completely clay. All the way through, the whole thing is all clay. 100% clay. It's what we call, a word we call, substance. You heard that word before? Yes. The substance. That means what's it made of. The substance that it's made of is clay. The whole thing is clay. Well, I look at this and I think, you know, this kind of is kind of like what God is. He's really complete. He's all there. He's all one substance. And when, when I think about God, I can think about it like this. He's just one God. Just one solid, all, whole thing God. But God does a lot of different things. I mean, he made the whole world. He died on the cross for us. He helps us to pray. And he helps us to understand our Bible. He does a lot of different things. And God is, is really complicated, a lot more complicated than my brain will ever figure out. I don't know how one God like this could do that whole thing. So God said, listen, I'll tell you what, I'll make this really easy for you to understand. I'm going to show myself to you in three individual persons, three individual personalities, three individual guys that all do the same thing and are all the same thing. And so I thought, oh, that's kind of interesting. That's like, that's like this side of the clay. Now see, if you look up your head, come here for a second. Point at the top. Watch out. Point at the top. Watch out. Get over here next to me so people can see. See the F on top? That's the Father. That's God the Father. See the cross down here, buddy? See the cross? That's God the Son. See over here the great big S? That's God the Holy Spirit. Now, how many gods do I have here? Three. No. I have one. I have one God. One complete whole God. But when I look at him, I can see three separate individuals. Now here's the interesting thing. Uh, I need a volunteer. Uh, Brandon, come on up. Okay, I need you to put one hand under the S, and you need to put one hand under the F. The F here on the top. I'm going to take this part off. This, it is soft. I know that way I can tear it apart. This, okay, come here next to me. This is God the Son, right? Jesus. Jesus came and walked on the earth. He did all kinds of cool miracles. He made blind people see. It is heavy. He made blind people see. He raised people from the dead. He called them stormy. All kinds of cool stuff. Do you notice how he's a different shape? He looks different. He does different stuff, right? Is he still clay? Yeah. Still, still the same clay? Yeah. Yep. Wait a minute. What did we say the substance was? Clay. Clay. And what does this clay represent? God. God. So all this clay substance is like God. So wait a minute. There's God over here, and there's God here too, right? Is it two gods? No. No, because it's one piece of clay. It might look like a different piece of clay. It might look like a different shape. But when we look on the back, we can tell it's still the same piece of clay. And it fits, thank you, Brandy. And it fits right back in there. It's still the same piece of clay. You broke it? <laughs> yeah, we broke We put it back together. And they're together all the time. Except when Jesus had a job to do. And when the Holy Spirit has a job to do. When the Father has a job to do. They have different jobs to do. But... I don't know if I can get them to flip over without dropping them all. But they're still the same God. It's still all one God. Now, here's the thing. The Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, all three of those are definitely God. We figured that out. We looked at the Bible. We found out all three of those are definitely one God. And, and all three are definitely not each other. 
I mean, the Holy Spirit didn't die on the cross. Jesus died on the cross, right? All three are definitely not each other. But all three are definitely just one God. Does that make sense? Yes. The Trinity is yeah. kind of hard to figure out. But you know, you've got to understand, God is a lot more complicated than you and I are. Hayden and I, sometimes we like to make stuff out of Legos. You guys like to make stuff out of Legos? Uh-huh. Yeah. And one time we made a little Lego man. A little Lego man. Now, let's imagine if we put a little brain in the Lego man so he could move his own arms and his own legs. Wouldn't that be cool? Yeah. Do you think he'd be able to figure us out? No. Do you think he'd be able to turn around and say, I know everything about Hayden who made the Lego man? No. I know how his heart works, I know how his brain works, and I know how his eyes work, and I know how he put me all together. No, he wouldn't because he's not that smart. He's not that complicated. Hayden's a lot more complicated of a person than the Lego man. Well, guess what? God is a lot more complicated than you and me. He can do things we couldn't even dream of. I mean, come on. Can you make an earth? Go ahead, try it. I want to watch you. <laughs> it just, no, you just can't. You just can't. I, need, I, I can make an earth out of clay. God made the whole earth out of nothing. Force. Sit down. He had nothing, and he made the whole earth. He just said it, and it happened. Isn't that amazing? He can do things we can't even dream of. He's so much more complicated than us, and there's no way we're ever going to be able to understand everything about him. But he wanted us to know, wait a minute, there's one God, there's just one God, there's just one God. But so that we can understand him, he said, listen, you're going to know me in three different ways. You're going to know me as three different individuals. You're going to know me as God the Father. And you're going to know me as God the Son. And you're going to know me as God the Holy Spirit. I'm going to reveal myself to you as three completely separate individuals. Three completely separate persons. But it's all one being. It's all one being. Yes, Addie. Why does it have the Father and that has aligned to the Holy Spirit, but it says is not? This is called the shield of the Trinity. And it's one of the things that the church has used for hundreds of years to teach this idea. This is there's one God. One God. And he's God the Father, and he's God the Son. He's got, see, he is God the Father, he is God the Son, and he is God the Holy Spirit. He is. There's only one God, and we see him that way. But we know that God the Father is not God the Son. Because God the Father did not die on the cross for you. God the Son died on the cross for you. And we know that God the Son is not the Holy Spirit. Because he didn't come as fiery flames. He came as a person. That's right. And we know that God the Holy Spirit is not God the Father because God the Holy Spirit was sent by God the Father to come and work right now and help you understand really complicated stuff like this. Does that make sense? Yes. <laughs> Some of you are getting it. You can do my next one. The cool thing is God has always, always been like this. This isn't something new. This isn't something that God looked down and he saw, man, those people are kind of dumb. I better figure out a way for them to understand this, so I'm going to make some clay and the shield of the tree. No, he's always been like this. God has always been God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And when he made the world, back in Genesis chapter 1, verse 26, he says, let us make man in our own image. Who do you suppose he was talking to? God the Father and the Son. Yeah. It was, it was God the Father and God the Son and God the Holy Spirit talking to each other as one God saying, hey, let's make man in our own image. And you know what that means, in our own image? Yes. What's that mean? Like us. It means like he looks like what, he looks exactly like what we are. He made us to kind of look like him. Like when you draw a picture of yourself, you draw it in your own image. That doesn't mean that God has like feet and legs and hands and arms like we do. But God the Son does. He made us to look like Him because we have an eternal spirit just like He does. And if we choose Jesus, we'll live forever just like He is. That's right. And that's what we call the Trinity. Give me the last one. There really is only one God. I am Yahweh and there is no other. Apart from me, there is no God. There really is only one God. Next. But we know Him in three individual persons. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. It's all the same God. And that's the Trinity. Isn't that cool? Okay, let's pray. Thank you, Lord, that you have sh chosen to show yourself to us in three ways so that we can know you best. Thank you that we can know you as the Father who loves us and who sent Jesus to die for us. Thank you that we can know you as Jesus who came so willingly and gave your life for us and who, was ro and who rose again on the third day. And thank you that we can know you as the Holy Spirit who comes with us. 
and wraps your arms around us and loves us and helps us to understand the Bible and understand stuff like the truth. We thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Let's see. Amen. Let's see Jeremiah. Okay, guys. I think. Hey. So, we're back. Perfect time. We're going to take a little break and we're going to set up your craft today and we're going to make what Mr. John.